Hello YouTubers, it's Tallulah here. That's a pretty little old gal, isn't it? Actually, that's my youngest daughter. And that's a picture of her. And some of y'all have asked to see some more of my paintings, so I was going to show you. I took this picture and I painted it on a uh, 8x10 tile. It's a little bit... Let me see if I can get it in here right. It's a little bit bigger than the picture. But that's my daughter. And that's a picture. I thought I did okay since this was actually my first time to try portraits. I hadn't done portraits before. Let's see if I can do it. That's the wrong button. There we go. But there she is. And that's a little bit more of my painting. I'll show you some more again another time. Okay, let me flip this camera around and set it down so I can talk to you for a second. Whoa, you don't even want to be that close to me. Trust me. Okay, much better, much better. All right. I'm feeling a little bit better since we got over the, the dog episode. We kind of took care of that. But uh, I was going to tell y'all a story about something that happened to my dad and my brother. <clears throat> I don't know how many of y'all are familiar with uh, Texas and with the Houston area. But we have a huge medical center here with uh, MD Anderson Cancer Center. And uh, Texas A&M has a big center downtown. And my dad and my brother both worked at Nabisco which is sort of in that area and uh, they ride to work together and the other day they was going to work and my dad is the world's worst about if he sees something off on the side of the road a box or something he's got to stop and pick it up he's gonna stop and see what it is I, he, I don't care what happens he's gonna see what's in that box or bag or whatever well they saw one of those little uh, tote uh, ice coolers you know the kind with the flipped down lid that you can put like a six pack of canned cokes in it or something what well, was laying off on the side of the road and it was kind of on the highway and so dad pulls over and tells my brother to jump out and get it and, and uh, see if it was broke you know if it was broke leave it but if not throw it in the back of the truck so my brother's like oh god here we go again so they my dad stops and pulls over my brother jumps out and picks this thing up and it's not broken it feels like it's got ice in it so he throws it up in the back of the truck and Gets in, tells Dad, said, uh, no, it wasn't broken, and uh, I think it's got ice in it, so it's got something in it, so it's kind of heavy. And he didn't think anything else about it, and they went on to work. Well, at lunchtime, uh, my dad went out to the truck, because lots of times he goes out to his truck, and he'll get in the back. He's got a little twin mattress back there, and he'll take him a nap out in the back of his truck. And sure enough, he gets out there and gets in the truck, and first thing, he's got to see what's in that ice chest. So he opens it up, and in the ice chest wrapped in plastic is a human toe a big toe off of somebody's foot so my dad's thinking man this must have been going out to the medical center you know for a transplant or something and and somebody lost it off a truck so he calls the police department and they're going well <laughs> i don't know what you want us to do about it you know we don't uh take body parts or anything you know best thing you can do is call the medical center and see if you know they know where it came from or whatever and they'll send somebody out to pick it up so dad called the medical center he called texas a&m he called md anderson and every one of them said nope they didn't know nothing about it not a one so you know so i guess you're wondering what did he do huh what else could he do he uh called the tow truck you didn't like that joke I thought it was funny. But anyway, I hope y'all like the picture. I'll try to so show y'all uh, some more of my painting sometime. And I wanted to tell you why I haven't been doing any cooking videos or anything like that. Because I, I do cook I, a little. I'm not a great cook, but I cook and I can. And I make my own soap and all that good stuff too. But right now, my house is a disaster. Uh, I barely have enough cabinet space to get my own meals done for myself because we uh, recently had to rip up my kitchen floor and my bathroom floor and replace them and uh, replace we had to replace the commode and everything in the bathroom it was had a leak and had rotted plumb through and uh, 
my brother and his friend did it. So you can imagine they came over here and nothing was ready. I mean, I didn't know they were coming when they were coming and they just started grabbing stuff and throwing it in the other room. And my, pretty soon when the living room got full almost to the ceiling, they started throwing it in the other rooms. And I've been gradually bringing it back in and trying to sort it all out. And uh, it's a teetotal mess in here. But when I get it straightened out, where it doesn't look so much like I'm a hoarder or something, then uh, I'll be doing some videos on cooking and things like that. And I wanted to tell y'all I really appreciate the kind words that y'all sent about uh, my grandson's little dog. He, he's awful upset about Duke because, uh, you know, that dog followed him everywhere. I mean, he couldn't go anywhere. That dog didn't go. So it's going to be a while before he stops missing. But I thank y'all for all the kind words and everything. And anyway, uh, I'll let you look at the, the pictures again. I don't know how we you can see them from there. But anyway, that was just my first attempt at portraits. Uh, well, I, that, I'm lying. That was my second attempt. I also painted a portrait of uh, the eldest grandchild who lost the, the dog when he was a baby. I pa painted him. So that was my second attempt at portraits. Anyway, Tallulah out. Thank y'all. God love you. Bye.